Hello everybody, here we go with the slow version of News Roundup number 140. If you are a lover of hot curries, then you might want to visit the Dilshad in Cannock, Staffordshire. As according to the Daily Star, they are claiming that their crocodile inferno is the world's hottest dish. It's made of real croc meat and red hot chilies. And, says the paper, it has left chefs in such a sweat they have to wear gas masks to avoid being overcome by the fumes. Owner Tony Uddin said, It could be quite dangerous, so we will be asking people taking part to sign a disclaimer. People have been known to hallucinate while trying the crocodile inferno. We'd only encourage people who really enjoy very hot curries to take part. Not sure my wife would agree with this, but here goes. The Daily Mail outlines a recent survey which reckons that British men are more hands-on than ever before when it comes to household chores. Researchers found that millions of men are more than happy to tackle a range of tasks their fathers would rarely encounter, with one in ten doing the bulk of the cleaning, polishing and dusting in the home. It seems that one in five men are in charge of cooking dinner every night, while one in ten regularly do the family washing. The Welsh are a rather shy nation, according to a study produced by Cambridge University. The Daily Express reports that the Scots are the friendliest and Londoners the least welcoming. The most extrovert people come from London and Manchester, as well as pockets of the south, southeast of England, Scotland and Yorkshire. A report in the Daily Mail claims that police in the West Midlands have had to deal with almost 150 calls reporting sightings of witches, ghosts and UFOs over the past five years. Residents dialed 999 more than 40 times to report ghost sightings, while around 30 calls were placed about UFOs. Almost 80 different reports of witches or witchcraft were filed. 
of all the calls made, only eight were classified as hoaxes. A police spokesman said, while the figures can seem amusing, behind some of these supernatural calls may be a deeply troubled individual or a person wasting valuable police time which would be better spent preventing real crimes. The town of Haywards Heath in Sussex is to erect a blue plaque to mark the birthplace of Commando, a Second World War messenger pigeon, described as a hero. The Daily Mirror says the plaque will be installed on the loft he was born in after the pigeon was awarded the animal equivalent of the Victoria Cross. Commando was awarded the PDSA Dickin Medal for flying scores of dangerous missions over occupied France from British spies in Germany. PDSA Heritage Manager Jill Hubbard said We are very pleased to hear that the birthplace of Commando the Pigeon is to be recognised in this way. Members of the armed forces are, quite rightly, remembered and honoured for their contribution and sacrifice in times of conflict. At the PDSA, we honour the many animals that also serve, from carrier pigeons like Commando to army dogs detecting arms and explosives in war zones. And still on the subject of the Second World War, the Daily Express tells us that medals awarded to an airman who flew on the famous Dambusters raid in 1943 have been sold for a record one hundred and forty eight thousand pounds. Flight Lieutenant Richard Trevor Roper received the Distinguished Flying Cross and a Distinguished Flying Medal, which were recently found in a dusty file by relatives who were told they could be worth £60,000. The airman was a rear gunner with RAF legend Guy Gibson on the mission to destroy German dams using bouncing bombs. London's outspoken mayor, Boris Johnson, has called on street musicians to vary their repertoires to cut complaints, says the Independent. It is one of the measures in the capital's first busking code of conduct called Busk in London. It has been designed to provide universal rules for street performers. The guidelines state performers with a varied repertoire are more popular 
and attract fewer complaints. If you only know a few songs, move to a new location when you've played them. I suppose it depends how good the songs are. Hope you're well. Take care. Bye bye.